Art is such a mirror, and not only of what is happening in our society, it's also a mirror of where you are in your life, because that can evolve and that can change, and the art changes with you. Hi, I'm Nina Garcia, and we're here at the Hearst Tower to talk about contemporary curating. I think art has always been a part of my life. My parents really embraced a lot of the Latin American and Colombian artists. Colombia is very rich in culture, so there was always a sense of celebrating Colombian painters and artists. I wouldn't say that I'm a collector, but I love art and my walls are not empty. We buy things that we're passionate about. I always say that art finds you. I think that curations are very important. It goes back to editing, which is what I do. There's so much out there. So to have somebody that can kind of distill that information, so important. What I celebrate most about Contemporary Created is that it gives the opportunity for those people that are learning, that want to become collectors, to start and learn. My relationship with Santiago was born out of our families knowing each other. We're both from Colombia. We kind of grew up with similar upbringings, then ended up living in New York at the same time, and I think that's when the friendship really strengthened. Once Santiago became passionate about something, it was very deep. His apartment, it was very impressive, and you right away understood that art was his passion and that he had such a sophisticated eye and that the pieces that he chose were very meaningful to him. When I would walk into that apartment, the first thing that struck me was the Lawrence Wiener and it said a lid on it, almost like containing all the energy from New York. The Jenny Holster, protect me from what I want was also a daily reminder for him. Sometimes the things that you want are not necessarily the best things for you. One of the pieces that struck me was the Joseph Kosuth. It said, neither appearance nor illusion. And it really kind of summed up Santiago's philosophy of art. I think people should buy what they love. I think that also it's a process, it's educating your eye, and it changes with time. As you evolve, you might have a different perspective on life, and that is reflected on your choices of art. <laughs>